Hey guys, what is up? It's Stephanie Mitchell here. I'm an online marketing coach for beauty business owners. And today I'm sharing with you five ways to prep your business for an uber profitable Black Friday and Cyber Monday. This is gonna be so good. So let's be honest, Black Friday typically tends to creep up on us, right? We forget all about it, we put it on the back burner, and before we know it, it's like one week to go till Black Friday and we're scrambling to come up with something to offer our clients. I'm a huge procrastinator and recently I've been trying to get more organized and I want to help you to do the same. So I'm going to share with you five ideas to prep these amazing promotions and make sure that this November is one for the books. And we're going to do this without you needing to spend more time behind the chair or behind your treatment bed this November without needing to pull crazy hours or spending a ton of time planning promotions, all of that stuff. We're going to make it super easy peasy because here's the thing. You definitely want to plan something for Black Friday because your clients and followers are gearing up to spend over $400 this holiday season. That's in the United States. And imagine if just a few of your clients were to spend that kind of money with you. That is a big boost in revenue. And here's the cool thing. When talking about online shopping, your clients are spending more money than ever. In fact, last year in 2020, there was a 46% increase in beauty product sales. So that money could be going to you. Before I jump into it, if you like this video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up below because that really helps my videos get found by more beauty professionals like you on YouTube. And let me know in the comments, have you ever done a Black Friday promo or what are you planning to promote for Black Friday in your business this year? All right, let's get into five ways to plan for an amazing Black Friday, Cyber Monday, promotion in your beauty business. Step number one is to plan out your promotions. Here's the cool thing about Black Friday is that you can offer some crazy good deals and offers to your clients without feeling cheap and yucky. Promotions and offers are what people expect and what they get excited about this time of year. So here's what we're going to do for Black Friday. We're actually going to plan out four different promotions in your business. You don't have to go with all four of these, but if you want my advice, here's my game plan. I would offer one promotion in the week leading up to Black Friday. One promotion on Black Friday, which is November 26th, a 24 hour flash sale. One deal or promotion or contest for small business Saturday, and then one thing for Cyber Monday with online shopping. So what kind of things should you offer during this holiday? My advice, and I know the big sellers for you will likely be gift cards or gift certificates and retail products. And I'm gonna share more details about those two things in just a second. For now, your job is to come up with one promotion, deal, or offer that lasts the week leading up to Black Friday. So you could do a retail product sale, for example, if you buy one retail product, you get the second one free, or you can offer like a little gift with every purchase of $50 or more. People can get like a little mini trial packet of products. Next, come up with a really good show-stopping 24-hour flash sale for Black Friday on November 26th. Maybe that's 20% off all of your retail products, or maybe they get a free gift card with every purchase of products over $100. You can be really creative and have fun here, but make sure this is your big headline promotion. Next is Small Business Saturday. So this is a holiday that's really taking off and it's all about supporting small local businesses. I love the idea of doing like a collaboration and partnership with other local businesses in your town to create a gift pack or gift basket and give it away as a contest. So you can do this contest on Instagram. You can all um, donate or give one thing to this gift basket and then each of your businesses promotes it. So it's great for doing cross promotion. And if you hook up with businesses that kind of have the same clientele as you, it's a really great way of getting more exposure and just offering something fun for free, this huge gift basket of products to your clients for Small Business Saturday. And lastly, Cyber Monday. This is where online shopping gets big. And we're gonna talk about how to offer online shopping in just a minute, but I want you to think about something that you could offer just for Cyber Monday. That could be free shipping on all orders, a small gift with every order, or some sort of retail product or gift card promotion that you only offer on your online store. So 
To conclude, your first step is to plan out your week-long Black Friday promotion, Black Friday 24-hour promotion, Small Business Saturday contest or giveaway, and Cyber Monday, what are you gonna offer online? Step two is to get all your content ready ahead of time for your promotions. Now, if you're like me, you kind of tend towards procrastination, but now I thrive on having my content planned out weeks ahead so that when it's actually time to promote, I feel ready, prepped, and confident. So here's what I recommend that you get ready right now. First of all, photos. You're going to be promoting retail products and gift kit and gift cards and gift certificates and all that stuff. I would love for you to have beautiful photos of them ready for all your promotions, whether that's email, social media, advertising, anywhere else. So plan it out now. Plan a photo session day or a photo shoot day with a team member or a family friend or a friend or your partner or even a professional photographer. Get their help and make sure that for your photo shoot day, you've got a list of all the photos you want taken so you don't forget anything and then you're gonna be left with dozens of amazing photos of all your products and gift cards and all that stuff that you can use in your promotions. Don't forget that you should be in some of those pictures too. Have pictures of you holding some of the products and the gift certificates to make it more personal. If you want my advice for setting up an amazing photo shoot session, be sure to check out the video below about setting up photo shoots for hairstylists, estheticians, and salon owners. It's gonna make it so much easier for you. Next. Plan out what kind of social posts you want to do during your promotions. I love to have like a Google Doc there where I brainstorm a bunch of ideas of reels, stories, videos, and photos that I can share on social to really pump up my promotions. You're especially going to want to focus on videos and reels and that kind of things where you are talking about the products, you're showing them off, you're showing the benefits, you're educating, and you're getting up close and personal and making your promotions really fun. Next, pre-write some of your emails to your list. You do not want to forget about email marketing during Black Friday. It will be one of your biggest sales channels. So I hope you have a list of all of your clients and I want you to email them several times during your promotions. Get them excited, pump them up. They will be your biggest buyers. Step three is to set up gift certificates or gift cards in your business. Now, if you're not offering gift certificates or gift cards right now, now is honestly the best time to do it because gift cards tend to be the number one seller over November and December for the holidays. And you could boost your revenue by several hundred or several thousand dollars this holiday season when you offer them. If you wanna go simple and low tech, you can actually just print off like pieces of paper that are a gift certificate that you put in an envelope. You can make them nice and pretty with Canva, design them on there, and then just write down the name of the person who bought it, the name of the person it's being gifted to, the dollar amount of the gift certificate, and your signature and maybe even a little number there so that you can write it down in your books and verify who it's for, how much they've spent so far so you can keep track of it. But if you want my advice, my favorite way of offering gift cards is actually e-gift cards. So if you use an app like Square for your booking, Square actually lets you sell either plastic gift cards or e-gift cards that people can purchase from your online store and they can use them for product purchases on your online store, product purchases in person at your salon, or even services. So you can offer them through Square, or if you use another booking app like Gloss Genius, a lot of apps offer gift cards. So make sure to get them set up and make sure that you talk about them a lot during this holiday season. So we already talked a little bit about coming up with promotional ideas. For gift cards, one of the biggest hot selling promotions you can probably do is to offer a little extra bonus incentive to get people to buy a gift card. So say for example, if you buy a $100 gift card, you'll get an extra $25 gift card on top of that for free. So this is a gift card that people can keep for themselves or give to another person, which refers you another client. And it's a really great way to boost those sales. Step four is get ready to really pump up those retail product sales for the holiday season. Many successful salons and spas have more than 50% of their revenue 
coming from their product sales. And I heard a phrase that I loved, which is in the beauty industry, you can survive on services, but you can retire on products. And that is so true. They can really, really boost your income, especially this time of year. So it's time to get ready to sell a whole lot of retail products. And the first thing that I would do is really figure out the mindset part of it, because I know that we don't love selling. It doesn't come naturally to us. And my friend Daniela can give you some great tips to boost your confidence and give you a real mindset shift about selling products and getting excited to sell products. So click on the link below to watch Daniela's videos about selling salon and spa retail products with confidence. Next, I want you to decide on which products you're going to put a focus on this holiday season and if you're gonna be offering any new products. So by new products, that could be simply contacting your distributor or your beauty supply store and asking if they have any cool, fun, holiday themed products that you can offer, even something that's like lower cost price that you can bundle up with other products. And then the second thing is to create some kits. So take some of your top selling full size products and bundle them together with a special price or create like a themed kit, like an at-home spa day kit, and you add in everything that they would need to do a spa day or a facial at home. You can get really creative, you can add in everything that people need, and people love gifting these things to their family and friends. So these are some of the retail products that you can offer during Black Friday. And step five is to create an online store. I saved this one the best for last because I truly think that having an e-commerce shop for your salon or spa will be a game changer. Now, during COVID, everything went online and that is a habit that is sticking around. Your clients are buying products, beauty products, hair products, everything online more than ever and they will continue to do so. If you want to build a new revenue stream in your business that can literally make you money while you're sleeping, while you're taking a shower, while you're not working, you need an online shop. Now, if you want my advice, I personally love Square because you can set up an online shop for free and it's super easy to get started and make your online store look ultra pretty. You don't even need to be using Square as your booking app in order to create an online shop with them. Um, it's super easy to get started and it's one of the best ways to start offering retail products and gift cards to your clients online. So your step is to, if you don't have it yet, set up an online shop with Square. And if you want some ideas of how to actually promote your online shop and make more sales from it, click the link below and I'll give you 10 creative ideas to start making more sales right now. So there you have it, your five steps to plan for an uber profitable Black Friday are first of all, to get your promotions ready and decide what you're gonna be selling. Second, to get your content ready, so all those photos, social posts, and emails. Third, get ready to sell gift cards and gift certificates, decide how you're gonna do that. Four, you really want to get your mindset and your products ready to boost your retail sales. And number five, if you don't have it yet, set up an online shop. I hope that this is exciting for you and I truly believe that if you plan it out a little bit in advance, this November can be one for the books and you can double your sales this Black Friday. My biggest tip for you when going into it is this, be confident that the services and the products that you're offering are things that your clients truly love and want and want to gift to other people as well. Don't be afraid to talk often and talk loudly about what you're promoting this holiday season because people are ready and excited to buy from you. So have fun with it, get creative, use these five steps and get ready to plan for an amazing Black Friday, Cyber Monday, and just a beautiful holiday season in your business. Again, if you like this video, feel free to give it a like below and let me know what are you excited to plan for for your Black Friday. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys again soon for another salon marketing video.